Hey guys, today we'll be checking out a homebrew app for Windows Phone called DevStore 7. So previously this used to be called the Deep Shining Marketplace and the developer has rebranded it and now it will be called as DevStore 7. And there are some new features in there and we'll have a quick run through of what these are. So first up you've got various sections in here like wallpapers, ringtones, devs and then you've got news from Windows Phone and things like that. So going into wallpapers, you'll see that there are multiple wallpapers in there and you can click and save them to your device. Jumping into the ringtone section, we can see that we can play the ringtones or you can save it to your phone's ringtone section directly. And the new section called Dev shows you various developers or hackers from the Windows Phone homebrew scene. So you can identify Jackspot, Heathcliff, Good Day to Die, Catula and more. So for some of them the information is not complete yet because we are looking at a preview version of this app. So the final build should have those completed and as you can see going into the dev profile section you've got a bit of information about each developer, their Twitter account, their XDA developers account, their Twitter feed and you can locate the developer on a map as well. I'm guessing that is pulled from their Twitter account. And next up we've got the news section. So you've got news from various Windows Phone sites like Deep Shining, WP Central, Pocket Now, WM Power User, 1800 Pocket PC and more. The top site section lists various Windows Phone websites and clicking on any one of those will take you to Internet Explorer and open up the website. The Chef's Choice section, it shows you various apps that the developer thinks will be useful to you. And then you've got the shoutout section where you can submit an app and that will open up in uh, your email client. Check for updates, send feedback again using the email client and follow the developer on Twitter and more. The extra section is not completed as of now. And then you've got your normal homebrew marketplace where you have various homebrew apps and as long as you have a fully unlocked device you can click on any one of those and that will download the XAP file to your phone and you can install it straight away. So as you understand this is only for fully unlocked devices Sliding across you've got an app section. So these are some other free apps that's available on the marketplace but the developer has actually included the app files on their server. I'm not really sure if the developers will be happy about their apps and games being distributed this way. There is a settings section where you can pin a secondary live tile. Not really sure what it does because it just flips across and shows you a title. But overall it's a great little app especially if you have an unlocked device, it's well worth checking out. Thanks for watching.